Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're enjoying the videos, please consider subscribing. So today's video is probably not going to be that interesting to the general populace, but for breeders and keepers on a larger scale that intend to breed, it's an important topic. And that topic is maintaining your mental well-being and state. Um, today, honestly, I've been avoiding the camera and also doing work. And the reason why is my snake keeping area has become a complete junk pile by, you know, having three boys and a wife and life and ha this table that I'm at right now um, being graciously given by my mother, which honestly, I, I like it. I actually like it as a table for the videos. Um, and I'll probably end up making it, uh, my, instead of using the couch, but, uh, the rest of the room is actually so crowded now that I'm tripping over things to try and just do daily maintenance which makes me not want to do the daily maintenance. I like to be able to get in here. I like to get the work done. You know, I'm a father of three, so I like to get the work done so that way I can turn around and be a father and I'm not struggling to get things done all day. I also like to, you know, the couch is down here for a reason. I like to come down and relax and hang out with the snakes and maybe watch some, some YouTube videos and, uh, generally just it's a pleasing space but right now it is so crowded that you know you don't want to be here which means you don't want to take care of the snakes which is an issue and i mean you can even see my backpack and water bottle from my work weekend sitting here on the table because there's nowhere else to put it right now so enjoy the time lapse I'm going to set it up and I'm going to get to work and we're going to clean this thing up and figure out what we're going to do with a bunch of this stuff because looking around, this is ridiculous. Something's got to give. Otherwise, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do other than go crazy. All right, everybody, let's go to work. The room, pile of garbage to sweep up, looks 10 times better. I've got to go through those boxes. But now, that's a box of garbage and donate. The room is usable again. I'm not tripping over things. My youngest can ride his bike in circles down here like he likes to do. That mesh is going out to the garage. It sticks out and I hit my leg on it and I'm tired of it. <laughs> but since you stuck around to the end of the video, this condensation has only happened since I brought this out here. You might have caught it as I, at the end of the time lapse, but I wanted to show you. I managed to, by adding these few ventilation holes here, make this entire incubator totally condensation free on the lid. So this incubator is now safe to use, or this egg box is now safe to use. I don't have to worry about anything dripping. I don't have to worry about um, eggs not having their humidity. So I'm probably, the first clutch of eggs for this year is probably gonna go in here Maybe more, but we'll just have to wait and see. But you can see where, if I put my finger on it to raise the temperature of the plastic, it completely evaporates and goes away. So 
with just these holes and hole, one hole around the edge and these holes here, this entire thing now ventilates properly. The incubator is at 100% humidity. It's stable at 85 degrees, so we're good to go. All right, everyone, have a great day. Sorry that it was a cleaning video, but it was cleaning video with a purpose because now I actually want to be down here. All right, bye everyone. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what we've done, please remember to subscribe. And also consider checking out either the playlist or the video that is shown on the screen. Have a great day. Bye.